Sudden cardiac death in athletes. The heart is a muscular organ about the size of a closed fist that functions as the body's circulatory pump. First, we would like to describe the normal anatomy of the heart. The heart is divided into four chambers. The two upper chambers are the atria, and the two bottom chambers are the ventricles. The interventricular septum separates the left ventricle from the right ventricle. The four heart chambers are separated by four valves, the tricuspid valve, the pulmonary, the aortic and the mitral valves. Deoxygenated blood, returning from the entire body, enters the heart through the right atrium. It then passes to the right ventricle, where it is pumped through the pulmonary artery to the lungs to become loaded with oxygen. Oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium and then passes down into the left ventricle where it is pumped back into the circulation through the aorta. The following conditions may lead to sudden cardiac death. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, commotio cordis, coronary artery diseases such as atherosclerosis and anomalous arteries, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, myocarditis, arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia, and long QT syndrome. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease of the heart muscle that leads to its abnormal thickening. This abnormal thickening of the heart muscle occurs due to an autosomal dominant genetic abnormality of the muscle cell proteins. It is considered the most common genetic heart malformation in athletes, affecting approximately one out of every 500 individuals. Asymmetrical thickening of the interventricular septum may lead to a condition known as hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, which may lead to intermittent cardiac outflow obstruction, which may ultimately cause sudden cardiac death. Abnormal systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve leaflet, exacerbated by exercise, may lead to aortic obstruction and sudden death. As we can see in this image, the mitral valve leaflet has come in contact with the abnormal septa, leading to obstruction of blood going to the aorta. Increased heart rate during exercise leads to decreased filling of the left ventricle with blood. This leads to a narrower left ventricular chamber that may increase the chances of aortic obstruction. Therefore, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is an absolute contraindication to vigorous exercise. Most patients are asymptomatic, and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is found incidentally during regular physical examinations. Thorough history taking is one of the most important parts of the examination. Some patients may present with one or more of the following symptoms. Dyspnea, angina, palpitations, syncope, or sudden cardiac death. Cardiac auscultation may reveal an ejection systolic murmur that is best heard at the left parasternal edge, and it increases in intensity with maneuvers that decrease left ventricular venous return, such as standing abruptly or performing the Valsalva maneuver. Investigational studies include EKG and echocardiography. Fortunately, the majority of patients have a normal life expectancy. However, risk assessment for the development of sudden cardiac death should be performed. Patients with a high risk of developing sudden cardiac death may benefit from the implantation of a cardioverter defibrillator. It is important to remember that vigorous exercises should be avoided in all patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Genetic testing and physical screening for family members could be helpful for early detection. Symptomatic patients are treated medically at first in order to control their symptoms. Surgical interventions including alcohol septal ablation and surgical myomectomies are indicated only after failure of all drug therapies to control the patient's symptoms. Commotio cordis. It is sudden death of a healthy individual with no underlying cardiac disease due to ventricular fibrillation following a blunt, non-penetrating blow to the precordial area of the chest. 
Sports with a higher risk of commotio cordis include baseball, hockey, lacrosse, cricket, rugby, boxing, karate, and other martial arts. The chances of developing commotio cordis are influenced by the following factors. It occurs due to a high energy impact to the anterior chest wall over the heart. The timing of the impact relative to the cardiac cycle is also a very important factor. The risk of commotion cordis increases when the impact coincides with the first 10 to 30 milliseconds of the ascending phase of the T wave. Unfortunately, most cases are fatal. Defibrillation should be started as soon as possible, preferably within the first three minutes. Players should be advised to wear proper protective gear and to avoid blocking balls or pucks with their chest. Furthermore, the presence of automated external defibrillators at sporting events and training grounds have been shown to decrease the mortality rates with commotio cordis. Coronary artery diseases such as atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis may lead to sudden heart attacks and death due to blockage of a coronary artery with plaque. Plaque builds up in the arteries over time and leads to narrowing of the vessels. Risk factors associated with atherosclerosis include advanced age, a positive family history of heart disease, smoking, obesity, high cholesterol levels, hypertension, and diabetes. Anomalous arteries. An anomalous coronary artery is an artery that has an abnormal anatomical orientation that may impede sufficient blood flow to the heart muscle. This condition is more common in young female athletes and may lead to sudden cardiac death. Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. The normal heart is wired in such a way to prevent extra beats from occurring. Patients with Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome have an abnormal extra electrical pathway that allows the heart to beat prematurely, leading to tachycardia. A heart rate exceeding 240 beats per minute may lead to sudden cardiac death. Symptoms may include chest pain, syncope, and palpitations. Continuous ambulatory EKG monitoring, such as with a halter monitor, can help in diagnosis. The heart rate may be controlled with medical treatment. However, in some cases, electrical cardioversion may be required. Radiofrequency ablation may be required for long-term control. Myocarditis. Myocarditis is inflammation of the heart muscle that may lead to its damage, occurring due to an infection. It is usually caused by Coxsackie virus. It may also occur with adeno or parvovirus. Myocarditis is believed to be responsible for up to 20% of sudden cardiac death cases. Unfortunately, less than 50% of cases with myocarditis demonstrate anti-mortem symptoms. Arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia in arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia, the muscles of the right ventricle are replaced with fat and fibrous non-contractile tissue. This impedes the heart's normal blood pumping capability. Furthermore, this condition increases the patient's risk of developing a fatal heart arrhythmia and sudden cardiac arrest. Long QT syndrome. The QT interval on an EKG represents the duration it takes for the heart to recharge after each heartbeat. A longer than normal QT interval increases the risk of developing a potentially fatal arrhythmia called dorsade de point, which may cause sudden cardiac death. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.